Hi friends, uh, today we have Harsh with us, uh, who is one of our course enrolled students of the AI course. And Harsh has a very interesting background. I will introduce him and then start the discussion. So Harsh uh, has just recently joined as a software engineer for machine learning, also called as machine learning engineer at a consulting company called Info Objects, just very recently, just a month ago. And prior to that, he did a machine learning internship. And earlier to that, he has about two years of work experience in sales and business development and he has completed his B.Tech in civil engineering. So what makes Harsh's transition very interesting is he comes from a civil engineering non-coding stream, and then he works in sales and marketing for a couple of years, and then successfully transitions to careers via an internship to a proper machine learning engineer role. Congratulations, Harsh. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Cool. So uh, let's get into the core of the discussion. Uh, given your background and experiences, can you tell us what was your interview experience like? What were the interviewers expecting from you in each of the rounds? Can we go into the details of each of the rounds and questions, please? Uh, actually, uh, my first interviews were, uh, you know, basically they were expecting uh, non-fresher candidates or candidates from IT background. So though my profile was selected because of my projects and all, but uh, I couldn't make it through. Uh, because everybody said that you do not have real-time experience on projects and all. Uh, but in this firm, they were expecting a fresher level candidate, an entry level candidate. Uh, so pretty much theoretical uh, knowledge was enough for me to crack this interview. And uh, there was uh, one coding round also, but it was very basic Python coding round and Pandas coding round. So I, I guess the course curriculum. So one round years. was Python coding. So how was the Python coding task or the questions as compared to some of the assignments and concepts that we've covered in the course? They were very, if you have, you know, seen the Python assignments and uh, uh, have successfully completed them, it would be a cakewalk. Okay, got it. So first round was coding. What, what about the other rounds? Can you go into some details? They were, there? they were purely theoretical rounds on machine learning and deep learning. One round was for machine learning and one round was from deep learning. Okay. And, yeah. So in the machine learning round, when you say theoretical, were they asking about the mathematics underlying some techniques or what can you, can you share some questions just to get an idea of it? First of all, the question started with the basic concepts of precision and recall and, you know, metrics, uh, performance matrix and, uh, what would you do in such case? Oh, so what some applied questions also. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, and uh, then there were some definition-based questions, very basic questions like what is underfitting, what is overfitting, and each and every question lead to the same situation-based question that what would you do in this scenario? Got so it, this, got it. Yeah. So a lot of application-based knowledge was also required in addition to basic foundational stuff. Exactly. But they didn't, you know, ask me like, what all projects have you done? Where have you deployed that? So the, the later part of the technology and, you know, that was not expected out of me. because I yeah, was Typically, obviously... typically for fresher roles, given that you didn't have IT experience also, they probably did not focus on productionizing, deployment and other things. That happens, especially for freshers, they mostly look at basic core concepts itself. Very good. Exactly. So uh, I had one other question. So given your background, given that you came from a non-coding background, also some experience in sales and business development, how did you go through the course? How did you structure through the course? And what was your learning strategy to make the most out of it? Because you success, you said coding was actually a cakewalk. So as, as somebody who's coming from a non-coding background, could you walk us through your learning journey itself? Actually, I started learning from here and there in late 2019. And uh, in July 2020, I joined Applied AI course, but I was, uh, uh, you know, working professional and especially in sales background, you do not get enough time. Yes. Uh, our working shifts are around 12 to 14 hours a day, to be honest. So that's true. So uh, I, you know, first when I came across this course, uh, I found that it is beautifully structured and the quality of the content, I, I just don't have words to describe that. I was very happy to stumble upon it, frankly speaking. And uh, then, first of all, I completed the theory. Like, you know, I was just binge watching the theory. But later, one, one and a half months into the course, when I have completed machine learning, then I realized that the, the things Sir told us in the first lecture that, you know, make comprehensive notes and just revise regularly. I haven't done that. 
and everything is vaporized so then i strategize it according to whatever you have told in the first lecture i did that but uh, i didn't go through the assignments because the thing was i was keen to make the transition but the basic strategy from starting itself was that i'll make a transition and then i'll just you know keep up skilling wise so right now also i'm doing that okay so right now also you are doing some of the assignments but you have done yeah. some of the earlier assignments to become comfortable yes. in programming yes got yes. it got it got it so uh, another very important question here is what suggestions would you give especially to students and working professionals who come from non coding backgrounds or from non coding streams like mechanical engineering civil engineering aerospace similarly people who come from sales marketing business development right non non it roles what suggestions would you give them so that they can pace their learning and also successfully make the transition over a one year or one and a half year period see if you are consistent i personally believe that making a transition in one year is you know more than possible the only suggestion i would give is that do not do not think or do not let someone fool you that it's very easy you'll have to put in efforts if yeah, you are it's not easy let's be realistic about it yes if you are from non coding background it is not easy but the thing is if you get right content and uh, right guidance like i got at applied ic then you just need to blindly follow these people that's it cool. whatever you are saying that just follow that cool so anything else that you wanted to add that probably i have missed out in the last few minutes uh, no it was a beautiful journey for me and i am a student of applied ic and i will be because i know i i have a lot to learn uh, just you know keep your spirits high keep learning and one day you will get the results i, I think one of the most important things in your journey that i take away is that you have been consistent you did not give up and most importantly you have put in the effort and you are like if not today i'll get it 6 months down the line you went through an internship before you went to a full time role and successfully made the transition by putting in the effort which is the most important thing here i'll add one thing also the, the internship experience was not also up to the mark the only and the 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 exposure the correct uh, and the right exposure that i got is only from applied ic okay got it got it got it okay sounds good sounds good thank you harsh thank you very much for your time i know you have, you are you've just joined the new company you have, you have a hectic schedule thank you very much for taking the time to share your learning experiences and journey because we believe this will motivate lot of students similar to you in successfully completing the course or even outsiders who are trying to transition into careers into data science and machine learning thank you very much sure it's my pleasure to share screen with you sir thank you very much